In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how you can bring out the brilliance of your photos using a technique I like to call Single Shot HDR. Now if you've seen our tutorial on HDR Photo Merge, you'll probably remember that the idea behind HDR Merge is that you can combine three similar photos, each shot with different exposure settings, and then combine them to get one super photo. Today we'll learn a similar process, but I'll take you through the extra steps needed to use this technique on images that were only using one photo. If you've ever shot photos of scenes outdoors that have moving objects, people, or animals, you know that the image can change in a fraction of a second, and so you simply don't have the time to take three shots needed to do a usual HDR photo. In this scenario, you ideally want to have your camera set to a medium exposure setting or simply set it to the automatic mode. Let's take a look at this image as an example. It's a decent photo. You can get a good idea of the kind of day it was. The colors in the sky are visible, and the foreground isn't too dark or overexposed either. It's average, but we want to make it outstanding. So first of all, let's save a copy of this file on the desktop, and I'll call this one medium. I always like to save copies of files when working on projects like this, so as to make sure that nothing touches the originals. You always want to have those raw files backed up. Next thing I'm going to do is create a version of this photo that looks like it's underexposed, so to do that, right-click on the background layer in the Layers palette and select Duplicate. Set the duplicate layer to Multiply, and this will darken the image, and it also creates a stunning contrast. So I'll go to File, Save As, and name this one Dark. Now we're going to create an overexposed image, so simply go back to the blend mode here and change it back to normal. And now, from the Adjust menu, select Brightness and Contrast, and then Fill Light and Clarity. As you increase these numbers, more light will be placed on the foreground of the subjects in your image. If the image looks a little washed out, you can tweak it by going back to the Adjust menu, selecting Brightness and Contrast again, and then Brightness slash Contrast. You can increase these values as well, and in this example, I'll only add a little bit of extra contrast. So last of all, I can save this one as Light. and then from the File menu, select HDR, and then Exposure Merge. This will launch the PaintShop Merge application. If this is the first time you're using the HDR Merge, a Getting Started window will pop up and provide a brief overview of basically how this feature works. Now if the Merge application has loaded photos that you don't want to use, you can remove them down below by clicking the minus sign. Of course, to add photos, you would click on the plus sign, and then browse to the folder containing your images. So in this example, I'll browse to the desktop and select the three images that I created earlier, medium, dark, and light. To import multiple photos at once, you can hold down the control key on the keyboard while selecting the images. Now the image thumbnails will appear at the bottom of the screen. Usually at this point, I would align the photos, and you can do this if you like, but it shouldn't actually make a difference here since these are all replica images. To begin the merge, click the Process button in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. When the processing is complete, the HDR adjustment window will pop up and display a larger version of the merged photo on the right, and the thumbnails of various presets on the left, and you can select any one of these and then give touch-ups to the image. When the photo looks just right, click the Process button to complete the merge. At this point, you'll be presented with an even larger variety of options to continue further touch-ups. After you've finished up here, you can just save the file when you're done. Now let's take a look at the before and after. So as you can see, this technique can make a huge difference, even if you're only using a single photo. 
Visit learn.coral.com for tons of video and written tutorials, contests, tips, ebooks, and more.